My name is Moonlar Lamb, and I am doing ironies. I'm going to be in the gallery um, for three days, um, ironing um, pieces of recycled fabric, and I iron um, patterns into them and install them onto the walls of the museum. There is a long tradition of folding, sort of in Asian cultures. Um, actually, the way I started was really just experimenting in my studio, and it was a form of drawing for me. So it's impermanent mark making. So as I started making marks on the fabric, I realized that I was drawing. And as I started to pin them up, I noticed that with the interaction of light, the colors were changing based on the lines that I was ironing into them. So then it became kind of like painting. And then as I put them onto the wall and interacted with the architecture, it became very architectural. And then therefore became really sculptural. So um, kind of a way that I describe my work is a cross between drawing, painting, sculpture, and architecture. A friend of mine said to me, you don't paint, you don't draw, you iron. And it kind of dawned on me that that's really what I should call it. So then I started calling it ironing to just really give it its own identity. I think that the advantage of being here in ironing and being sort of part of the process is that it activates the work. It gets people to think about the person that's standing there ironing, um, the act of ironing, the meaning of ironing. When I first started the ironing, it was very much um, focused on sort of the uh, domestic chore and bringing it into a gallery environment, so institution versus domestic. Um, there's also the gender issue of um, a woman, you know, woman's work in a gallery environment. My color palette, which is um, sort of colors of uh, camouflage, they actually come from an article that I read about the British uh, military redesigning their um, camouflage pattern based on sort of the highest, um, the deadliest year that they had last year in casualties. And so they actually sent up um, aerial photography and um, they took infrared uh, imagery just to get the correct coloring of the um, Helmand province in Afghanistan. And so I'm kind of replicating um, the camouflage colors and tiling them onto the walls here. Um, and I'm kind of embedding my own statement into that. In a way, the ironings have evolved. It's, it's really become my medium for working, and now I've taken it to another step in terms of infusing outside um, sort of political actions into my sort of very domestic world. So it's sort of a juxtaposition and also just including more conversations within that process of our